so that's how it is. Thanks for the suggestions, Mr. Zhongli. I have them all noted down. I've long heard that your knowledge encompasses all things old and new, Mr. Zhongli. But I never knew that you were well-versed in the art of cooking, too. It is truly an honor to make your acquaintance. No need for formalities. I too feel humbled to be in the company of such talented young people. There are many things I could learn from you. Oh, you flatter us. Um, if it's possible, may I trouble you to provide a few words of guidance for my practices in exorcism? Exorcism? I can't say I'm an expert in the field, but if you don't mind, we could start by discussing... Oh, Tao invited Zhang Li over. Paimon never thought we'd be meeting so many old friends. <laughs> yep, and they asked us to pass on their season's greetings to everyone. They hope we'll have a wonderful gathering. The performance was spectacular indeed. However, it gave Zhang Ling a huge burst of inspiration, which in turn gave us a bit of a headache. Us? Did Zhang Ling ask you to try out her dishes too? <laughs> that, my friend, is beside the point. Watching you eat was enough for me. <laughs> Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't have burdened Chong Yoon with eating my share, too. See? Someone here knows how to encourage people. Thanks, Paimon. Hmm. That sounds like it might become a little safer to eat. How about I sample the dishes next time? We're not late to the party, right? Right? Oh, that's also the first I've heard of the Traveler and Paimon being friends with the Conqueror of Demons. Knowing is a bit of an overstatement. I've always looked up to him. You might not know this, Paimon, but we exorcists have worked in close collaboration with the Conqueror of Demons for many generations, dispelling evil together, both in the open and from the shadows. Hard to imagine that thanks to Hu Tao, I've finally gotten the chance to meet him. Conqueror of Demons, I am honored to make your acquaintance. It is a great honor indeed to have a chance to meet the legendary Conqueror of Demons. Chang Yun has brought that name up quite a few times in the past. I remember you mentioning wanting him to understand the importance of exorcists. Ahem. No anecdote, however, compares to meeting you in person. I'm Sing Cho, Shang Ling and Chang Yun's friend. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> that does sound like one of Hu Tao's antics. Did the Conqueror of Demons agree to come so that Hu Tao would stop pestering him? There's no need to worry, Conqueror of Demons. We're not feeling anything unusual so far. Our young exorcist over here is protected by his pure Yang energy, so he's probably the most resilient. Th that's not the same. And did you just toss your carrots into my bowl? Hey, don't look away! Huh? What? I'm siding with Chong Yoon. I saw that too. Huh? Guoba would do that? Is he that uncompromising? Hmm. But now that I think of it, Shang Ling told me that Guoba used to be the stove god. Huh, it's you! Oh, isn't this Jen Yu? Hmm? Jen Yu? Uh, yep. Now that I've taken a closer look, you're a fan of Jen Yu's works, aren't you? I met Sing Cho at a light novel convention. Ah, oh, how I wish we'd met sooner. I never expected that there'd be another person in this world who could interpret Jen Yu's new novel as thoroughly as I could. Venti, you're being too humble. Considering your poetic talent, your fundamentals are way more impressive. Hmm? Mind lending me a few books when we get back? Pick out some well-written ones! I don't know if it's my own lack of literary knowledge, but I couldn't tell the difference between those two. I don't think it's your fault. Chung Yun's right. It's not our fault. The festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly. About you and Venti. Uh... <laughs> Could he be... a partner in your family business? That's right. You know how my family is. A lot of business secrets can't just be divulged at the dinner table. 
Ah, just as I thought. Refilling and lighting the incense to the most distinguished guest among us all. Lighting the incense will signify continuous details of his past deeds, but chatting with him has been a real eye-opener. Companion, the winner of the Masterful Chef's Co- Please stop! If we're looking for a distinguished guest, surely the second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild counts? It's one of the largest commerce guilds in Liyue Harbor. Huh? Don't get me involved in this. Oh, not a bad choice. With the Commerce Guild's young master lighting the incense, we're all sure to make a huge sum of mora in the new year. That's not how it works. Making a fortune is indeed a fine wish, but it's of lesser importance than good health and happiness. Which means we should choose Chong Yun, the skilled exorcist who keeps everyone's home safe from evil spirits. Huh? Now you're nominating me? I can't be the one when we have the Conqueror of Demons right here. Adeptus Xiao has the most seniority among everyone here today. We should... I refuse. Don't take everything to heart, Paimon. Friends tease each other all the time. Hmm. That is indeed true. We'll be refilling and lighting the incense for us. Oh, it's getting late. I won't take up any more of your time. You're all free to go as you please. It's dark out, so I'm going to accompany Xiang Ling, Sing Cho, and Chang Yun back home. As for the rest of the guests, I'll leave them to our consultant. Don't forget to return to the parlor later. <laughs> Sing Cho, you have to be honest. Hmm? Honest about what? How did you and Venti really meet? W why are you suddenly asking that? Huh? Aren't they book buddies? Yeah, we met a few times at a book convention, that's all. Oh, really? With that extraordinary demeanor and literary talent, he's definitely not just any bard. If he's someone that could hold his ground in a conversation with a consultant, he needs to at least be as talented as me. Um, perhaps you're overthinking this matter. Uh... Hu Tao, Xincho wouldn't lie to us. Uh, okay. I'll tell you the truth. Huh? Xincho! I'm actually a fan of Venti's poetry. You all know that I love reading, and sometimes come across poetry from Mondstadt. Among those works, I admire the ones penned by Venti the most. Just as Hu Tao said, his artistry is the reflection of his personality, remarkable grace and exceptional literary talent. I guess Venti didn't tell you the whole truth back at the restaurant, because he didn't want to embarrass me in front of everyone. He's such a considerate person. Uh, yes, right. I can confirm that. When Sing Cho was busy with other things, he asked me to buy him poetry books in secret. I see. That didn't sound like too much of a big deal. You could have told us right away. Well, I'm telling you now, aren't I? Oh, so that's your story. Ugh, forget it. Let's drop this topic. It's not often that the four of us are all together. What should we do next? Hide and seek, hopscotch, or some shopping? Since there's four of us, why don't we borrow a mahjong set? The second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild counts. It's one of the largest...